What's up guys, this is Boondocks and today I want to talk about Ineros, the newest frame that was just released. Now, Ineros is really cool because he's a supporty tank character and also a train tank. And his abilities synergize together in pretty interesting ways to keep you alive while controlling the enemy. So let's take a quick look at those. So, for his first ability, Desiccation, this is what spawned a bunch of memes on Reddit when it was first announced with Dale from King of the Hill pulling a bunch of sand out of his pocket and throwing it in some motherfucker's face. Now that's pretty much what Ineros does. This is going to blind the enemies but only in a cone on like say Excalibur's radial blind and because of that it's a little bit harder to land as well as having a shorter duration than the other blinds that exist. One interesting fact though is the enemies will take a dot and all the damage that this deals will heal you back for 25%. Unfortunately, it doesn't do all that much damage to begin with, so that 25% return of life isn't that big unless you hit a huge wave of enemies. At which point, yes, it would be a little bit more worth it for the man uh, mana, for the energy cost. His next ability, Devour, though, is a lot of fun. This is going to trap enemies in sand, completely removing them from combat, more or less. They're still totally open to damage, as well as taking a little bit of damage over time, but... This also lets you run up and devour them. If you devour them, you're going to spawn a sand soldier. Additionally, while devouring them, you're going to be healing yourself. The sand soldier that you spawn is going to be a clone of the enemy you kill, and all in all, it's kind of cool. His third ability, Sandstorm, synergizes pretty well with Devour. Not only will Sandstorm pick up and toss all the enemies around you, but if they were trapped in a sand trap, they are going to also heal you, like if you were devouring them, and if they die, they'll also spawn the sand soldiers. Your fourth ability, Scarab Swarm, is very interesting. Unlike most abilities that cost energy, this you have to press and hold to drain your health to charge up your Scarab Swarm. When it's fully charged, or as long as you have 25%, you can cast the swarm on an enemy, and that's going to do damage over time that's going to heal you and your teammates that are within range. Now, this could be pretty interesting, and I'm looking to see how it plays out in a group, especially one without having a Trinity. So, while he doesn't have the Energy Vampire from Trinity, he can still control enemies and support your team through healing. I personally neglect uh, power efficiency on him. The reason being because he has no shields and a ridiculous health pool, tossing a Rage on and then just taking a little bit of damage will pretty much guarantee that you always have the energy needed to cast abilities. So the thing with the Rage, however, is it's actually more effective against higher level enemies than lower because it converts percent damage you take. So with that in mind, you might want to change this up depending on the situation. I'm also going to put on a duration to increase the length of time for my sand trap as well as the blind. And in all honesty, I'm not sure how the power strength is really going to affect the builds, so you might want to reconsider that. Flow, I'm going to toss on because his power pool is pretty much shit without it, and that's kind of annoying. As well as stretch, so that way I can cast my sand traps, my scarab swarm, and my blind at further away targets. Having a maxed out Steel Fiber and a maxed out Vitality would definitely be the way to go, as he has a ridiculous health pool, Vitality is definitely what you want, coupled with the fact that Redirection will do shit. And of course, Steel Fiber just reduces the amount of damage you're taking, therefore letting you live for longer. So I don't have on any good weapons, so I'm not going to be able to finish off enemies, but I want to sh first show some of the different weird abilities he has, followed by using, uh, showing the tankiness that the character has. So first, I'm going to drain a bunch of my health in order to get out my Scarab armor. Alright, so now that I'm down to only 1280, I'm going to first show off his passive, which is definitely interesting. And I'm going to do it only against lower level enemies to be able to show it off a little bit better. So first, I just need to come down here and let these guys hopefully kill me off. It might take a little bit, so I'm actually going to... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's uh, use that one on him, then run away, so that way I can drain more health. Okay, let's uh, do that one more time. Oh, I need a far-off target. 
this should show just how far you can cast the scarabs as well. Okay, let's go with that guy. Okay, all the guys got hit by scarabs in a row. That's pretty badass. I didn't know that. Okay, right, now that I'm down to two health, and I turn into a sarcophagus instead of getting into the down mode, and that's going to let me pull in these enemies. And as you can see, since I healed up from that, I actually res myself. That's a pretty badass ability if you ask me. So, real quick, I'm going to show the devour. Where... Nom, 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 nom. And I have a little sand soldier fight for me. Let's see if I can get a couple guys near each other. And uh, I would need a bunch of extra energy. I can just respawn the enemies real quick to show the combination to get multiple sand soldiers. Well, let's uh, up the level just a bit to 22 in the hopes that they don't die quite as fast. Because I'm afraid that they might die just from my sand uh, traps themselves. Oh, I never picked up energy. <sighs> that was why I went back. Alright, so now that I have these two guys, I'm just going to sandstorm them real quick. As you can see, I spawned a sand soldier from that. The other one did not die in time. Oh well. But you can spawn multiple sand soldiers from doing that. And time to show off the straight tankiness of this character. And in order to do that, let's spawn 20. Uh, let's go with level 130. Corrupted Heavy Gunners. Of course, I'm not going to be able to kill these guys. Because my abilities don't do all that much damage. But I should be able to show off the tankiness. So as I come down here, right away, I'm just going to want to start trapping some of them in my sand. And then they're going to probably start lighting me up. But even against level 130s, if you look, it takes a little bit for them to start doing some damage to me. And as I'm taking that damage, I'm back up to full energy. Then all I have to do is sandstorm and back up to full health thanks to these guys being trapped. And because of that, you can turn into a... Oh, God damn it. You can turn into a very, very powerful support tank. Because as I'm locking out these major targets, like waiting for my damage dealing teammates to get in closer, they're not going to be able to attack them any longer. And in the meantime, I can lock them down. Worst case scenario, if I don't have enough energy to cast Sandstorm, I can run over and devour these motherfuckers like so. No, 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 no. As you can see, it's doing almost no damage at all at 193% power strength. Partly because they are heavily armored targets at a very high level. But, yeah. Definitely very interesting character to play. And very support oriented. Very tanky. And I enjoy him. So, if you get the chance to unlock him, definitely try him. Interos is cool. Until next time, guys, like, comment, and subscribe, and peace.